Right, so we uh, got up for a slight this morning, had a few rolls on these flats, but nothing really about. So we're gonna pack up, swing up maybe a K and a half to the next flats, set up and hope for a repeat of last night. Looks really good on, on topo and on satellite, so fingers crossed. Yeah, unfortunately we had some issues with our camera. I don't know what's happened. Maybe this wet west coast bush, it's not, not working at the moment, so. We might have to make do with phone cameras and GoPros until we can work out how to fix it, but it is what it is. Right, we've stalked our way up to this clearing, and it's not as much of a clearing as we thought it was. It's just a bit of a ferny bench, but there's plenty of stag sign and heaps of shit. So we're going to sit here, and we're hoping he's can, we're hoping he's using this ridge and coming down and chasing hinds around on the flat at night. Heaps and heaps of scrapes and heaps of heaps of bashed up trees, so it's gonna be another waiting game, but it paid off for us last time, so fingers crossed. We've just had a stag roar. No more than 60 metres away from here. We're going to see what oh, Will's going to sneak in now. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm shaking. The stag's roaring well. So we're going to get Will to go in. I might give a few rules from here. Hopefully we can make it happen. He's not far away, maybe 50 meters. No! Here we go, shit. Shit right beside me. Woo! Yes! Woohoohoo! Oh, he's a good stag. Holy, holy moly. Oh, he's cool, man. Real cool. Woohoohoo! Oh, Vicka. Yes, boy. Oh. Oh yeah, he's got points for Africa. Look how even he is, look at his top. Oh, he's gorgeous. Yes! Give me one of them. Unreal. Yes! And he came in good. Fuck, that he's was pretty old too. Look how low his pedestal Yeah, he's a monster, man. He's a gorgeous oh. stag. Oh. Yes! Man, I didn't, he came right around. I know, he was only, that's my pack there. I was watching him, I saw him, I saw he was good. And I was like, fuck, Will can't see him, Will can't see him. And then he was looking right at me, and then he saw you, and then drilled him. Right, well that couldn't have come together any better. We've been sitting there for maybe 15 minutes. I was just filming some scrapes, and then this guy started making a bit of noise. And um, yeah, it only took a few roars to bring him in, and yeah, smoked him at probably... I don't know. Eight metres? Yeah. Yeah, not much. Well, more. I was eight metres. You're maybe 12. Yeah, not much more than that anyway. And yeah, he's a real cool stag. Super old, just like the last one. And plenty of character too. 14 points. Maybe not quite the same length as the last one, but he makes up with a foot and bays and awesome tops. Such a cool stag. He's a thumper. We're fizzy, man. Epic. Yeah!
So this is the clearing that uh, we thought the stag would pop down into tonight. I'm going to use it as camp this evening. Had to do some excavations and make a bit of a, a pad, but it's all good. Happy days. Beautiful spot. Look at that. It's gorgeous. you like for dinner there Pinsley? What have we got? I can offer you roast lamb and vegetables, lamb fettuccine or Thai chicken curry. They all come with mash. I'll have a ch I reckon chicken curry. Chicken curry? Sounds good to me. Satisfied? Yeah, big time. <laughs> So we just got a new forecast through on the inreach. Originally last night we'd planned to pack up and head down the valley and sort of head out towards our pickup point, but the weather's looking good. Not too much rain tomorrow, so we've dumped a heap of weight. We're gonna share some food in one tent and we're gonna try and get up to the head basin for tonight. Should be some good country, hopefully another big stag, but we'll have a go. Just like gone, does it? Nice. Well, after a pretty horrible few hours coming up the gorge, we finally reached the head basin, and it's absolutely incredible up here. Well, I think we winded this whole basin on the way up, so we didn't see anything this evening. We heard some good roars, but they were quite high. Um, gonna put some dinner on, hop in the scratcher. I think we're both pretty apprehensive about the walk out tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah, it's gonna be a miserable slog, and I think we'll forecast for a little bit of drizzle as well, so make things even more miserable, but that's all right. Came in and saw the head basin, it was pretty cool. And it's going to be two or three days of just grinding from now on, but that's yeah. alright. It's all yeah. good. Probably two days out from here. Maybe three days. See how we go. Right, it's the morning of day six, up before light again and, and just packed up the tent. We've got about 10 hours of walking ahead of us today, which isn't going to be that flash. Bit of, bit of bashing down the gorge, but it'll be all right. Get yeah. back down to the stags. How about that, that stag last night? Oh yeah, so it was about oh, just before midnight and we had had a stag roaring out on the flats here and, and we're sitting there thinking, shit, that can't be far away. And so we let out some moans and he must have been just in here. You might be able to see his marks over there, but he must have ended up milling around in this, on this flat for probably, I don't know, 15 minutes. And we 
we rolled him in and got the torches on him. Pretty cool animal. I think he had three on one top and two on the other. Maybe a little bit young, but still super cool to see. Such a cool encounter. Made that trip up to the head basin worth it for sure. Yeah. Onwards. Anyone that doesn't have a hill stick, get one. Just got back to Will's He's all settled up. A couple of days of hurt starts now for him. Back down to the flats now. What do you reckon? Big day? Yeah, fairly buggered, but it's all worth it when you can sit these two up on the flat, isn't it? Yeah. Some happy boys. Yeah. Let's go back to the flats this evening. We're going to have a crazy evening, but we've just heard a couple moans. Nothing serious, but see if we can go get eyes on them. Don't know if we'll shoot anything. It would have to be a monster if we're going to knock it over, but. Hopefully get some footage. Right, so we just got this young stag on the other side of the river here. He's got about two or three hinds, one little yearling. But it's awesome to see him running hard. He's covered in mud and throwing his head back. He's responding well to rules, but it's not an animal we're interested interested in after shooting those ones up there but yeah he's awesome to see fantastic right big grind today up early and along the flats to hit this gorge. I can't see it being very much fun. We're both pretty poked already, but it's the way it is. Hopefully get back in time to to get this chopper out. We've got yeah. a bit of a a bit of a box full of goodies back on the other side of the gorge, which is a bit Seems of motivation. A dinner. What a treat. But yeah, it's gonna be a nasty sort of 10 hours or eight hours, whatever it's gonna be, but make it happen. And do it. Good as that. Done it, mate. Oh. 
on the deck. That's it. Go on, buggers. Trip of a lifetime. Unreal. Straight into the grubby food, I reckon. Yep. I've got a chilli bin up here somewhere. Gotta get stuck in. I've been waiting all trip for one of these. Flip it. Stick it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Life is good. Well, we made it. Back to the flat, back to the pickup zone, and we're both pretty poked, but it's been one heck of a trip, one we'll remember for a hell of a long time, I'd say. Yeah, it's a, today was nasty, to say the least. I think we were both in the hurt locker pretty significantly there for. How long did it take? 10 hours? 9 hours? 9 hours on the way out. 9 hours on the way out. Just these boys getting caught on everything, but it's alright, we're back. Fantastic yeah. to see some good animals.